it's really uh, uh, two things. So you have people who are uh, playing the games, and that's really what uh, grew esports into a category organically. Uh, the players want to play against the best, and from that, uh, competitions, tournaments, teams kind of evolved out of there. So there's the competitive aspect of esports. And what's, uh, what's fascinating is that in 2016, with, with a combination of streaming technologies at scale, uh, with social media, and then these immersive uh, gaming experiences, you really had esports emerge as both a live event uh, spectator sport and also uh, a viewing experience, uh, particularly on the streaming platforms, where people actually want to watch other people uh, play video games and have a social experience ar around that. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with these huge gaming events like the one we saw recently in, in Los Angeles, Chris? And if so, uh, give us an idea of how vast they are and how, how much they're attracting people. Well, these uh, uh, live event championships are, are truly uh, phenomenal uh, uh, experiences. Uh, the, the, the League of Legends uh, final uh, drew literally tens of thousands uh, of fans and, and even drew more uh, than, than the NBA finals in terms of uh, viewership. These are, Amazing. these are really passionate audiences that are attracted to, to eSports. And that's really where a lot of the potential is. The eSports in terms of uh, a monetization per fan, in terms of a revenue per fan, is still uh, orders of magnitude below what you would see in the, in the major professional leagues in soccer, basketball, or American football. And as more and more investment comes in and the storytelling gets better and the video experiences get better and the, the sport itself gets more uh, organized and easier to follow and there are things that we see in other sports like star athletes and rivalries and big time competitions, you're likely to see even more sponsors step forward even more opportunities to, to uh, express your fandom through merchandise and then more and more live events, more and more opportunities to cheer on your favorite, your favorite teams and athletes. And it's just a money-making boom. I think when you look at esports in the, in the context of overall entertainment and media, uh, it's one of those areas that has a lot of growth potential. It has growth potential because it's uh, appealing to a very uh, attractive demographic, you have uh, uh, younger uh, men and women who are multicultural, it's global, they're tech savvy, uh, they, and the sport is in the early days of, of creating both the spectator and the sponsorship uh, environment. So you can see lots of potential uh, for growth and lots of interesting ways to participate in that growth as a media enterprise to make money.